didn't chink did it because we've got these silly things on it also it's bad luck to not drink or make eye contact <laughs> I can't see anything I'm not wearing my glasses um, look at my legs <laughs> they're, skinny they're so legs. skinny they're making my look even I've... fatter and they're so pasty why are you so pasty I've, well while you've been in the sun <laughs> I've been in hospital um, losing any well I mean I did have quite a bit of weight but, um, you've you can, always had chicken legs I've you? always had chicken legs but they're even more so now aren't they um, welcome back thank you and welcome everyone I'm here for one day only because I'm still not very one well one day <laughs> only one day only cheers cheers <laughs> <laughs> you've not got much in yours it's, it's not going to last long <laughs> that's what you get for drinking shots out of one of these <laughs> um Anyway, this is our summer holiday special. It is. It is our last Friday show of the series. Well, we have a wee breaky for the summer. And we've been to Primark. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to be completely matching, but we couldn't get two matching sets, so... No, they didn't have a shirt in your size. No, And they so didn't have any of the skirts, did they? For the ladies. We've, we've gone for kind of matching. I mean, I do apologise for my legs being out, but not as much as Abby, who's not wearing anything under Stop the shirt. Stop it! I've got shorts on! <laughs> Just be very careful. I've got shorts on! Um, so, it's for Friday show. We're, I'm back. You're back. Look who's back. Back again. It's um, it's a really sad day. Kevin's back. <laughs> Because this is finally over, <laughs> you can finally stop watching. I keep no, more the the no more craft corner. No more craft corner. We've got a few. So let's go. What have we got coming up on today's show? I'm going to have to take my glasses off, Kevin, because I can't see. I can't see without my glasses. We on, so. have got. Oh, you're going to like this. It's a very, very special summer special edition of what on earth are you up to? What on earth are you up to? There's a very special. There's a big. Prize. What's that noise? It's because you put your phone on the speaker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've got a bee infestation at the minute. Someone is currently on our roof dealing with it. <laughs> uh, are you making me go now? <laughs> <laughs> it's my phone on the speaker, I think. Well, yeah. go take it off. I can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have worn something <laughs> under your shirt. Um, anyway. The very special edition. Of What on Earth Are You Cup To? Um, it's a grand edition. A grand, a grand edition. And you're it's going an to win. It's an ensemble. Up for grabs, prize this week is a ukulele. Um, I forgot to plan which one it was. So <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Go on. Oh, no. I'm going to go for. I'm scared. Because it's a ukulele that I don't think many people watching will have. And <laughs> I swear, are there bees in there's it? no bees in it. And it might kind of it might be a nice addition to what they've already got that they would never buy on their own. It is. Is it the flying V? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. It is the flight Centurion. Oh. The electric ukulele. Um, How much does this cost? This is worth quite a lot. Kevin, stop it. About 300 No, we're not giving that away. <laughs> we are. Um, so, in the comments, so this is for the seven people that watch every week, <laughs> live. In the comments, if you get the answers right to what on earth are you up to, which we'll go through in a second, you're going to win. Whoever gets the most answers right, which is kind of giving away maybe what we're going to do, whoever gets the most answers right gets to win this bad boy right go back to bongo boy for a second um well i forgot we've got some news we have got the news so that'll always be fun um and chord of the week can't do the last episode without chord of the week will it be a summer one um it might be because it's friday and england played yesterday which in our world is tonight 
And if, if they weren't, it might be an England based song. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's go with that. Or song, an, it's song. a song. A chord, a chord from an England based song. Oh, right, okay. Might do. Um, what's next? Because I can't see. It's everyone's least favourite. Is it Paul? Paolo's Summer. It's not Summer. Just regular ukulele content, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and this week he's done a tutorial. All it says is tutorial for Peaky Blinders. <laughs> oh, he's going to teach us how to be gangsters. Oh, well, yeah, who knows what I he's going to I mean, I haven't teach. watched Peaky Blinders, but they're gangsters. I've right? watched a bit of it, but I can't think what the theme tune goes to. And that's the only thing. Is it um, Charlie Hanam? Birmingham? Birmingham? Charlie Hanam? The one from it's, Sons it's, of Anarchy. Um, Tedious Link there. No. Is it? I don't know. You're looking at me as if I'm. It's Singy Murphy. Killian. Oppenheimer, yeah. I thought old Charlie was in it as well. He might be Charlie nice. Put it in the comments. What he's what, very attractive. What else is to come on this show? <laughs> it's um, your um, little quizzy quiz. Oh yeah, so I'm doing a quiz as retribution for the shambles that was last week's Ooh. show all about me. You've also got to give Sam a bunch of presents and a bunch of dares. Well, I think I think this quiz is both okay. presents and <laughs> and dares all in one. Okay. So I think that's that's coming up. Um Blah 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 blah. What does it say at the end? I can't see. It rhymes see. with meat pot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what that says. Who put that on there? Did you put that on there? Which one? The last thing on the list. Yes. Because you've done it wrong yet again. <laughs> How have I done it wrong? So, the last thing coming up is the song that we did with Pete Moss that has never gone out yet. With Pete's been every week, he messages Bongo, <laughs> when are you playing it out? When are you playing it out? We recorded it in January. Was it January? January. It is um, a version that we did. There was Pete, me, Paul and Bongo Boy. Not me. Not Didn't you. Didn't want vocals on it. Yeah, who wants vocals? Um, Killing Me Softly. How do you sing a good song? <laughs> that's why. Um, had a- which will be the last thing in the show after we've said goodbye to everybody subscribe here blah 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 be the last thing in the show but Bongo Boy's put it before the outro yeah because <laughs> he has it's the Bongo one Boy job. way one job I thought that'll be helpful I'll put an outro on in that. Bongo Boy's defence he does have a lot of jobs but he does them all poorly <laughs> <laughs> right anyway right first part Cheers. of the show is <laughs> it's what on earth are you cup to? Roll VT Spongo Boy. <laughs> what are you doing? What? I'm just drinking. No, you drink. <laughs> It is a very special, let's call it a birthday edition, because you know what today is. It's my birthday! Yay! Cheers! <laughs> Drink. We haven't just filmed this <laughs> once, and I'm not moody at all at how badly it was and how much Abby went off track. So, not at all. what on earth are you up to? This week is a montage of every one from the series. We're going to show them to you on screen, and all you have to do is try and remember them in the comments. The person who gets the most right, or is the closest... We'll see what happens in the live chat. It's, yeah, it's going to be whoever gets the most, because I don't believe anyone's going to get all of them. No, if you no, no. get all of them, we'll put you in a draw and pick a winner. But, so, you're going to get the first two images straight away, and then we'll reveal it later on in the show. The first two images of all of them? Of all of them. So we're going to be quite quick. As many as you can remember. So it's a test of were you watching the show on previous weeks. So it's as many that you can get and remember correctly bongo boy is going to be sat at home right now yeah i won't be i'm going out for dinner on my birthday you're not going out with me i can't go out for dinner i can't eat anything i'm eating for you what would you like me to have um something really hot look you can tell by the size of my legs that i've been eating for you (laughs) anyway so bongo boy is going to be there trying to keep track of all the answers so please be gentle with him first let's do the first one okay go on Go on, Bungo Boy, what have we got? That's the even first remember. one. You want it in order? God, I can't remember what the order is. Yeah, I want it in order. What's the order? <laughs> okay, right. We, we're just going for these in random, random order. Random order. Okay, second picture of that one. I can't tell because I'm stuck to the chair. I probably it's made a, it up. It looks like a Honda... 
vehicle to me. A Honda vehicle, yeah. I remember what that one is. Next. Yeah. Next one. Oh, my phone's ringing. Can you... you... <laughs> Minutes. <laughs> right, Sorry, just my husband. Next up, um, it's a windowsill. Ooh. Next picture. Oh, it's somebody very famous <laughs> with two fingers and teddy bear feet <laughs> sat on a windowsill. Next bongo boy. Next bongo boy. Oh. It's a piggy. I remember this one. This was one of my favourites. Is he getting a oh. little bit? Someone riding a piggy. Giving too many clues away now. Next, next. Right, now this. <laughs> one. <laughs> it doesn't rhyme. This is Halloween. This is it doesn't rhyme. Yes, it does. Right, if anybody stuck around for this long last week. <laughs> this was last week. It doesn't rhyme. <laughs> I, I give you a clue. Duncan doesn't rhyme with pumpkin. Yes, it does. Because you pumpkin? said pumpkin. Like... Dun Duncan. Duncan. <laughs> Duncan. 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 Pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin. Only if you're from Suffolk. Pumpkin. But you don't say Duncan, so you can't rhyme it with can. But he can. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Next picture. Next picture. Oh, someone. Maybe classically trained doing some dancing. The fan. Oh, lovely. How far are we there? Inside my mind. Beautifully done. He's there. Okay, um, very topical at the minute. Ooh. I need the next picture to remember who it was. I mean, it's not football. It's not <laughs> okay, right. This one's a difficult one. <laughs> also not football no but it looked like football to begin with this one's a difficult one there's an extra character in this one as well isn't there there is yeah oh yeah there is <laughs> poking in the corner he's not even not even on the screen yet I tell you what, if you get this one you deserve the ukulele 100% I'm, I'm tempted to give Abby away if anyone gets this one right nobody won the round the world cruise with you last week no <laughs> shucks anyway um, yeah so somebody playing lacrosse with a famous singer looking a little bit angry, angry. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was also like me did we run cross me and cross? you me and you are in charge here so we're like the boss aren't we oh sorry he wasn't looking cross you're right yeah. no I think he was <laughs> I think it was a very long one if anybody gets this I'll be amazed right next one next one he even he who usually watches on the Friday night, <laughs> you cannot be named <laughs> until the song at the end of the show. Um, he probably can't even get that one, and oh, he's yeah. in it. Um, oh, this yeah, is a planet. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Mm. I can't remember what that one was. Can you not? Oh. You know when you had that work done. Yeah, that they were made that of something surgery. A type of that you had on yeah, your yeah. on your nose. Yeah. I did have my ears pinned back. Um. <laughs> anyway, yeah, flying around somewhere as well, weren't that they? That doesn't really rhyme either, does it? Mm, yes! <laughs> <laughs> like, that completely rhymes. Next! <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, yeah, this was a nice but... little jar. Or yeah, something I'm not sure there. this really rhymed, but I didn't come up with it. <laughs> um, yeah. Last one. Oh, yes, this is the one with the seven fingers. <laughs> seven fingers and three legs. Let's <laughs> get oh, Keanu. Keanu Reeves. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Yeah. Right, anyone can remember them. Um, we'll allow Bongo Boy to give points for good answers that are, that are near yeah okay okay yeah he's in charge of this there's a lot of work going to have to go into the scoring of this and who wins because it's not a cheap prize you're not getting a mug you're getting a really nice electric ukulele ka -ching! right should we move on from this long let's segment? move on it's time um, for the news time for the news who's presenting it let's hand over to our esteemed colleagues in the studio Mary Gold and <laughs> Gordon Yes, okay. Mary Gold and Gordon are in the studio today, I think. Lovely. Over Let's to you guys. See what they do. Good evening. 
evening and welcome to the news with us the normal presenters weren't available so we're, we're filling in you alright? yeah um, we've got a few bits of news for you tonight first up ukulele takeover day run by southern ukulele store uh, it will be hosted at absolute music centre which is the home of southern ukulele uh, and it will, perform, it will feature performances and workshops from four world-renowned ukulele acts. Uh, initially it was created as, an, as a showcase for the amazing talents that are Dead Man Duke and Andrew and Jay Molina uh, on their August UK tour. Uh, decided to make the event extra special by inviting the world's first doctor of the ukulele, Samantha Muir and pioneers of Eucula Fusion, the Mother Eucas. The event runs 12 noon until 7pm on the 10th of August 2024, and your ticket will give you access throughout the day to the Absolute Music Cafe space, and the four performances and three workshops. Uh, workshop information will be announced, but the workshops will be aimed at improvers, advanced beginners if such a thing exists. Uh, and intermediate players. Space for this event is extremely limited, so make sure you get your tickets now. If they're not sold out, they might have already sold out. Next up, the Ukulele Project presents Paolo Mansolo, with special guest Christopher Davis Shannon on the 2nd of July at the Cabbage Patch in Twickenham. You can get your tickets at ukuleleproject.co.uk. Go check them out. Christopher Davis Shannon is great. So it's the reason to go right now. Um, do you want to do the next one? Um, Four String Boy has released a new pick called the Pick Grip. It sold out within seven hours of release. Uh, Go to openhagen.com to pre-order the next batch with an offer of £16 instead of £20. Um, Anarchy and Ukulele will be doing a video all about it soon. Well, thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of the show. Love Good Mary, news. Mary Golden. Gordon. George. <laughs> Gordon. Gordon. Um, talking of George, George and Mandy very kindly sent me a message on last week's show. They also, they sent me a card, which I would show you, but I think I put it in the bin the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling better. We were having a tidy up at home. And basically... I mean, it what, was, they sent you a card and it, within a week you've thrown it out? It, they sent, it was a couple of weeks. It was the first time I was in hospital. Okay. Maybe, no, maybe not. Maybe second maybe time. Maybe you've only had a few days. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> it arrived, he read it and he trashed But it, it was a completely unsuitable <laughs> card where they then crossed out all the unsuitable words and wrote in... Are you worried about how they got your home address? <laughs> they sent it here. It'd be, it'd be funnier if I actually hadn't thrown it out. And sorry, yeah. George and Mandy. But also, they sent me a lovely message last week, along with all the other people that sent me messages. What were you thinking of? Why did you go along with these two? I, mean, I, like, oh, it wasn't, wasn't me. dead. I didn't contact them. I had Phil Dolman doing my obituary. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I might actually ask him. <laughs> if he wouldn't mind putting something down for when I do die because <laughs> he was very nice Pete Moss he was there <laughs> he wasn't looking cross either <coughs> part of it cheers cheers <laughs> oh. anyway um, I'm going to take these home BT dubs yeah fine whatever <laughs> are they pineapples? apples yes <laughs> That's exactly what they are unbelievable right I've got no idea what we're doing. Um, let's have a quickie with Nikki. No, let's not. I was doing George and Mandy. Yeah. George and Mandy. So they sent a really nice message. Um, there was a bunch of outtakes that Bongo Boy says very funny. So let's put them in here. Here's George and Mandy. Roll VT, Bongo Boy. D. <laughs> oh. K. 
Kevin, I think we all knew that you'd be arrested and incarcerated sooner or later. Um, I think most of us were just surprised that it hadn't happened sooner. George, than it will did. you stop, please? He's in hospital. He's not in prison. This is supposed oh. to be a get well message. We're supposed to be cheering him up. Well, what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> So it's really funny line about um, what we, he was going to do with an enormous file <laughs> and a tiny mobile phone to suck up his ass. It was really funny. Okay, but he can't do it. We can do it this time. <laughs> <laughs> I need to not look at you when I say it. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Kevin, I think we all knew that you'd be arrested and incarcerated um, sooner or later. Um, I think... To be honest, we were just surprised that it didn't happen sooner George, than it did. George, will you stop? It, he's what? in hospital, not prison. It's oh. supposed to be a get well message. You're going to cheer him up a little bit. Oh, I see. Um, well, what am I going to do? <laughs> to me, for fuck's sake. And <laughs> Kevin, we had a script. And we had a really good script and it was really funny. But George can't do it. He keeps laughing. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to say, get better soon. We, I'm sorry. I'm, no, no, I'm just that sorry. Next time is good. No, let's do it again. We can do it. We can do it. Okay. Kevin. I think we all suspected that you'd be arrested and incarcerated sooner or later. I think probably on the most part, uh, we were surprised that it didn't happen sooner than George, it has stop. done. He's not in prison, he's in a hospital. This was supposed to be some get well message from make him feel better. Well, what am I going to do with that enormous file and that tiny <laughs> mobile phone? <laughs> I got much... I got much further. I got much further. We've I got can't this. We've got this. this. We've got this. We've got this. We've got this. We've got this. Here we go. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 Do you need some way? Some way? Do you need a way? Offering her the glass. Do you need some wee? <laughs> we haven't actually watched George and Mandy because we haven't got the clips yet. Bongo Boy's got them. <laughs> so if it's not funny now. <laughs> Abby found it hilarious. I said to Abby, we'll come back in. Let's laugh hilariously. <laughs> she can't stop. <laughs> She's gone. She's gone again. What what bit was the funniest? <laughs> the funny bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love George and Mandy. Anyway, he's back. Chord of the week. <laughs> Why did you do it like a film, Mitch? <laughs> it, was, it was Harry Jazz. Chord of the week. Chord of the week. I've also got to talk, before we have Chord of the week, um, Alex, very nicely, when we bought a ukulele the other week, put on the box like I said my impression of him was uh, was awful well, some people don't appreciate good um I mean was, Al it was it awful was it awful Baz was it I think Alistair McGowan would give you a job <laughs> it was awful but I thought to be honest with you to do an impression of Alex all you need to do is put on a big hat glasses and a beard I was there <laughs> this is like literally we're like brothers from another mother Never met him. I'd like to, we should have met him at um, Winchester Ukulele Festival. I was very sad not to not to have gone and, and <laughs> met Alex. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? What happened? We've got to go in twenty minutes. What's wrong with you? Are you like? You're very sad. <laughs> <laughs> I was very sad not to meet okay. Alex and um, loads of other people that were there. Can't remember who. George Hinchcliffe, he was there. Phil Dorman. Phil Dorman was we there. We missed Mandy and George. We missed Mandy and George. Tara was there. Tara was there. Paul Mansell was there. Didn't miss Didn't him. Didn't miss him. Didn't miss him at all. Right. Now it's time for... Chord of the Week. Chord of the Week. Chord of the Week. Chord of the Week. I don't think I can do the top one. <laughs> <coughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Chord of the week! Chord of the week! Chord of the week! Hold on, the glass might smash. Chord of the week! You've you got higher. Chord of the week! 
<laughs> Unbelievable. Take it away, Jess. Quote of the week. Quote of the week. This week's quote of the week is a C six or an A or an A minus seven. Come on, England! Quote of the week. Ah, uh, thanks, Bango B. <laughs> what's that going for? He didn't do Chord of the Week. He rolled the VT. <laughs> it is time for part two. Part the. Oh, part so, <laughs> sorry, Jess. I'm just cutting you off. I'm not going to say how good you were. You were great. Time Come on, England. For... <laughs> what on earth are you up to? Part, part two. two. Right, so we're going to do a very quick refresh. Bongo on. Boy, can you give us just the last images? No, not the last images. The second image. <laughs> I tell you, let's have the last images. Go on. But we won't reveal it's what the answer is. It's very weird you're saying last. <laughs> the final. Final. The you full know, image. You normally say last. Last. I, <laughs> I change from where, where I've been. <laughs> but go back home, it's last. Oh, I have my little toe then. All right, all of the last images, quickly through all of them. Yeah. Do you I mean, want to just talk, so you you just talk about my toe yeah. for a minute? No. <laughs> no, you're fine. You can, no one can see it. <laughs> you're good. Right, come on. Get them on. Right, so we're looking for the slogan with this one. I enjoy the way the t-shirt matches the car. Yeah, he looks good there. Do you know what? Because you kept using terrible promo <laughs> shots of him from about twenty years ago, earlier on in the series. He should have this. <laughs> Send it to him. He should have this. Next, his promo he should shot. go on tour yeah. in, a, in a Honda. Mm. Good old. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> right, next one, next one. Ah, oh, it's Jesus on a windowsill. My <laughs> old teddy bear on a windowsill. Right, next one, next one. Oh, oh it's my mate Viggy. Her boobs are great, though. They would she mind me saying that? Probably not. I mean, they're not actually her boobs, <laughs> but I don't know. Um, yeah, getting jiggy. Next up. Oh, who is oh, it? A little country man. It's the one that doesn't rhyme. <laughs> Awful. I was watching this last week and I was going and Jesse was making guesses and I was like, well, surely they've done one of me, but like it can't be because there's nothing to do with me that rhymes with pumpkin. Kevin Duncan, the country bumpkin, riding a, sitting on a pumpkin. <laughs> it doesn't rhyme. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so Next sweating. up, I'm dying in it. I said Sharon. <laughs> George looked like a Sharon. Oh, I forgot they were looking a certain way as well. They weren't just dancing. Oh, yeah. Difficult one, that one. Difficult one. Remember, it's whoever gets the most. Yeah. Next up, Bongo Boy. <laughs> the man himself is, is looking, he is looking like at Like a... Me. I don't even think it is that. I think it's just... It's like a... Like a... Yeah. It's... I think it is. Anyway, well, we'll find out. We can't even remember. <laughs> no one's going to get all of that one. Next one, next one, next one. Yeah, Abby still wouldn't have a clue who this is. <laughs> <laughs> who is that? Silicon Moses. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a good name. For a fan. Yeah. <laughs> what planet are they flying around? Oh, I wonder. Anyway, next up. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that's how, it be. that's how it should have been. Should have been. <laughs> oh, he's he's changed it. He's to the put the right image one. on. What was different about it? He didn't have all the formulas in the background and stuff. Oh, is that it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's changed moving the goalposts. Why don't I'm you? I'm sweaty. Right next up, you are next up. Uh, feeding little bastards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were there as well. They were at Winchester. Hmm. With with Keanu, with Keanu. <laughs> I don't know, but we should send them a cardboard cutout of Keanu with three legs, <laughs> seventy fingers. Um, right, that's the last one. As many guesses in as possible. Um, put them down. Bongo Boy is going to try and work out who the winner is. What is next? Are we coming to the end? Mm. Oh, right, we've got to hurry up. Paul's ukulele content. Boring, boring, boring. Snore, snore, snore. He's brilliant, really. We love it. He's brilliant. We love him. We only joke. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Roll VT Bongo Boy. I'm sliding off the seat because I'm sweaty. 
We should put some trousers on. Yeah, wear some clothes. Roll VT Bongo, boy. <laughs> Hello everybody, today I'm going to do a tutorial for the theme tune to Peaky Blinders which is called Red Right Hand by Nick Cave. Peaky Blinders is an incredibly popular pro program in the UK. I don't know if it's made it across the pond or anywhere else yet. Um, I've never seen it but I love the theme tune because it's by Nick Cave. It's a relatively easy song, it's only got four chords in it. So let's have a little listen to it first off. Take a little walk to the edge of town and go across the tracks Where the viaduct looms like a bird of doom as it shifts and cracks Where the secrets lie in the border flies in the humming wires Hey man, you know you're never coming back Past the square, past the bridge, past the mills, past the stacks Simple as that. Um, I'm going to deal with the rhythm and the chords at the same time. We've only got four chords to worry about. You're in four, four, okay? Um, one and two and three and four and. The rhythm on your right hand is just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. There's a lot of muting in this. The first chord is B minor, okay? We need to make these first chords closed. So don't do your B minor, zero, two, two, two. Do it four, two, 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 okay? So it's a little bit of a tricky chord. Four, two, two, two. You're gonna do your down, up, down, ups, and you're gonna mute the chord, okay? One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. So I'm just resting my hand gently there. If it's off, you get that. If it's too hard, you'll get a buzz. So just gently. And then on the two and the four, I'm gonna squeeze my hand to play the chord. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. In the actual song, the rhythm is slightly different. He's coming in on the and and it's alternating between bars, but it's, this is the best way to do it to keep it even. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Okay. Your first two lines of the song, where it goes up to and cracks, you just stay on B minor. Two and three and four. Take a little walk to the edge of town and go across the tracks. Stay on B minor. Where the viaduct looms like a bird of doom as it shifts and cracks. Then you're going to change to E minor. Again, we need to close the E minor. We don't want any open strings. The reason we don't want open strings, if we're muting and we have an open string, it sounds awful because you get one string ringing out. So instead of doing the usual zero, four, three, two, we're going to do four, four, three, two. It's actually relatively simple because, in fairness, you've already got that two down. I come off the bar when I do it, but you can keep the bar and just put those two fingers down. Okay, so you can change to E minor. Okay, you stay on E minor until never coming back. Okay, you then go back to B minor. So it's B minor, one and two and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and E minor, three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and back. Okay, so you've only got two chords so far, B minor and E minor. The last two chords, the bit where it goes on a gathering storm, you're doing an F sharp seven, okay? So let's have a think about this. We'll do an F chord, first of all, okay? So two, zero, one, zero. Move it up one, okay? You're then going to put your pinky on the fourth fret of the A string, so a C sharp, okay? and you're going to put your third finger on the fourth fret of the C string. Okay, 
So you end up with three, four, two, four. Quite a tricky chord, but again, it's closed. On a gathering storm, this bit, on a gathering storm, I just do down strums. And you just stay on that until handsome man. On a gathering storm comes a tall, handsome man. And then when you change to in a thirsty black coat, you go to an E7. So all you're doing, you're lifting your first finger up from the F7 and sliding down one, two frets, okay? So you're finishing on one, two, zero, two. Okay, and again that, the black coat, you can just strum. Okay, and then you're back into the one and two and B minor. So it's B minor for two lines, B minor for two lines, B minor for one line, F sharp seven for one line, E seven for one line, and then back to B minor. Simple as that. It's a great little song, really dark song. I love the way that uh, Nick Cave sings it. Don't think he'd love the way that I sing it, but there you go. Um, enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks for listening. Bye now. Oh, Paolo. Oh, never a dull moment. More blinder. Cheers. Right, next up is Retribution time. So last week, they did a quiz all about, they did a show all about me. Which was very nice. I was very moved. As I Tenacious also thought, D would say, it was just a tribute. Wow. Um, I was very moved, but I did think, who actually wants to watch this dross? <laughs> this Luther van. Luther. Oh, imagine him being mentioned <laughs> in the show. Um, so, I came up this week with a quiz. Bongo boy, you know you're going to need a stool. I'm going to go in the middle. Close to you. Hello. Pretty cosy. I didn't get the song. Oh, 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 oh. We... Look at this. How good does that look on screen? It's almost oh, straight and everything. So, um, right. This is cosy. <laughs> <laughs> My legs are even fatter now. <laughs> can I slap your legs as oh, hard as I can? Um, right, I'm going to get a bit closer. Okay, you good? Yeah. Right, and um, before we do this quiz, let's talk about this. So this... <laughs> get it in the light. Well, you can just about see it. Abby went on holiday to Japan. Mm -hmm. She goes on holiday a lot. Um, she went on holiday to Japan. These glasses aren't doing anything for my hair. <laughs> and she said, I've bought us a, a, tradi a traditional... Japanese ukulele. I don't know if I use the word traditional. Yes, she did. Oh, traditional yes, handmade, handmade <laughs> Japanese ukulele to review. So I was thinking, like, you know, she'd been out to some kind of far, like, little village somewhere and someone was making these. And... Well, this wasn't a little Japanese village. I mean, I was thinking it was a proper instrument, for starters. Um, and she said it's wooden. I couldn't, I packed it. Uh, well, I basically, I shipped she it She said it was my, wooden. I shipped it back to myself. <laughs> I, I mean, quite remember what it looked like. So the best thing about this is, so somebody's got a very cheap little toy plastic ukulele. They've stuck some shells on it, and badly, <laughs> may I add, glued. there's there's glue guns bits everywhere. So bad. How much did you pay for this? Uh, you have no clue. I think I paid six thousand eight hundred. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, my favourite bit. My favourite bit of this traditional traditional Japanese ukulele is on the back it says quite clearly made in China <laughs> <laughs> but but um, it has got a shisha dog on it and shisha dogs are exclusive to the island of Okinawa where I got it from and you, they... you can't see this because our camera's too in the dark over here I'll do I'll do a close up of it it's a Chinese dragon it's got Chinese Sam, it's a Chinese dragon. It's a Chinese dragon. Well, if you let me finish. No, it's, it's going, dragon. no. It's, a, it's, and it's they, not a shisha dog, it's a Chinese f***ing dragon. And they are inspired by when the Chinese occupied <laughs> Okinawa. That stung my hand a I little bit. I bought you shisha dogs as a gift. Did you? You haven't given them to me. I have, they protect you. You put them either side of an entrance. Well, where you? are they? Well, you obviously haven't been using them, have you? I don't, <laughs> don't think you've given them to me. Anyway, mind. anyway, it's hot sauce time. Let's run a bit. <laughs> I've got, yeah, I mean, this is, the cheese has melted in here. I wouldn't fancy eating that if I was you. So, um, we have got nine hot sauces. We have got 
nine bits of cheese with hot sauce on. I have a bunch of questions. Where's my phone? That's where my questions are. It's actually Dragon 18 bits of professional as ever. So, right, hold on. I need to yeah, hide so the we questions. Can have a bit each, Sam, if we both get it wrong. Yeah, I need to thing. hide the questions. Right. It was much better last week, man. It was just the two of us. We didn't get anything wrong. Okay. Question number one. So, if you get it right, you don't have to eat. Okay. If you get it wrong, you do have to eat. Yeah. We're going to start with... Let's start here. We'll start with this one, okay. which is... That's a classic. How do you say that? Oh, well... Cholula? I assume it's like Chihua. Ch- Chihua. I Hot like sauce there. original. Mm-hmm. That one, right. Number one, that's what we're playing for. Question number one is... These questions are all ukulele based mm-hmm. or about me because that was your quiz last week and it was poor, <laughs> very, very poor. So let's, let's get rid of them. Um, it's also a bit of a test of how many of our videos you actually watch and pay attention to at times. Ooh, okay. How many do you watch, Harry? Um, couple, couple, here, right. couple there. My favorite ukulele yeah. is the Martin Streetmaster. Yeah. How much did I pay for that? Is it the nearest? Um, yeah. Okay, Bongo Boy, you can go first. £529. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. Abby. <laughs> £899. Okay, the nearest. It was dead on. The answer is 100% correct. Was Bongo Boy with 529. (laughs) You're on the hot sauce. (laughs) I'll peel it off here for you. Now you're probably thinking this has been faked. Don't get it. Don't get it everywhere. had in my mind that it was I'm gonna I'm gonna move back in case Bungo Boy's reading my phone here. <laughs> Not how how was that one? Is it alright? That was really nice. Level of level of one to ten. That'd be great on fajitas. Where's the spice? A two. A two? Oh poor. Right. Question number two. What is my favourite anarchy in the ukulele video? This is if you both get it wrong, you both eat. Shukalele. Shukalele. Bongo boy. Yeah, I was going to say that one, but. Ooh, the joke. My favourite anarchy in the ukulele video is me and Paul in bed. <laughs> <laughs> you both heat. So this time we were playing for Nando's Peri Peri Double X Hot Sauce. Lovely. Now, Bongo Boy does have a bit of a sore mouth at the minute. I, did. So I had surgery on my tongue last week. <laughs> I feel a bit so bad, so we might have to kind of stop this at some point. I've still got a sore tongue. Are you, are you giving see. it a go? Yeah, we'll give it a go. I can only. This is very mountain Yeah. Stuck. You're not doing well, are you? Right. Shall I wait for you? Oh, I can't get that up, Abby. You might have to. <laughs> Help him get it up. <laughs> Oh, don't Jesus. don't drip it on the carpet. No, I had this the other day. This is hot. Go wait I've for it to kick. It. I've tried it. Go wait for it to kick. We've got no water in here. <laughs> How we? Let's go, Bongo Boy first. How are you marking it? Out of ten. They're trying to both be brave. They'll be okay. like, this is a one. Six. Six? Is that a ten? That's like a three and a half. No, it is quite hot. Yeah, six. Six, Okay, Nando's hot sauce. One of my favourites. Next question. Okay. What was my very first band called? See how well anybody knows me, shall we? All thinking you were giving it last week, Mm. weren't you? Oh, yeah, who knows Kevin the best? Abby, go first. The Scoobies. <laughs> Sam? Yeah, I'll answer the Scoobies. <laughs> okay, the Scoobies is, is right. So you've got out <coughs> of eating the Kumana avocado hot sauce. Which actually that would have been really nice. 
Yeah. Well, okay. I think let's try it so we can mark it out of ten. Give it a go. No. I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sweat off the cheese. Oh okay, yeah, not stuck. Yeah, it's definitely melted cheese now. It's rank. How is it out of ten? Like a, a, a one to zero. It just tastes like avocado. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks nice. Okay, next up, let's power through these. Power through them. Next up, next up, next up. What was the first ukulele bass we bought? The U bass. The U bass. No. I bought the U bass. That was my bass. We bought the flight rock bass. Fix. It's not so this fix. time. We're playing for Frank's red hot fire roasted jalapeno sauce. Ooh, it's to sting already. <laughs> it won't be your mouth that's stinging later. Oh. Are, we, are we both all right? Are we still yeah. we still alive? Yeah. Okay. Next question. How is it? One to ten. One to ten on the uh, Frank's. Jalapeno sauce. That doesn't three? taste very nice. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, three. Not hot at all, then. No, yeah, like two, three. Okay, what does the U in U base stand for? Abby, you can go first. Upton. Mm -hmm. Sam. Yeah, I'm going to try and up Abby and say that it was Mike Upton because the Carla U bass and the Upton bass. I'm going to say you're both correct. It is the Upton bass. What did you um, What did you have for that one, Abby? <laughs> According to my foot, it was ukulele. <laughs> <clears throat> the joke's on you because I wrote two of the ups on my boob that I won't be looking at. Well, <laughs> oh, no, we want to know what they are, right? So, in the um, video. The um, and it wasn't in the video actually it was on a live show but how much did my pimped ukulele sound for now this one is for the Mike Upton one was for the just Lingam's chilli sauce I don't think that was hot looks like sweet chilli sauce to me so that was that one this one is for the Carolina Reaper sauce wow the, the chilli signal on this is just hotter than hot Six chilies, five chilies. Five, five. chilies, hot and hot. <clears throat> I'm already going red, but I feel like it's just because it's really hot. It's, in really, here. Uh, it's really hot in here. It's summer. Look at my little legs. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. We got four minutes. Pimp ukulele. Right. What did it sell it? for? Is it really that? Thing? Yeah. What did it yeah. sell for? 175 pounds. Oh, 310. You were both wrong. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not doing closest to. Oh. It was 125 pounds. Oh, I thought it was way, not very generous. <laughs> what did you have for that one? 175. Where, I already looked at where was it? And you missed it. Uh, I didn't say 175. Did I? <laughs> um, right, go on then. Reaper sauce. There's only a little bit on those. Yeah, I'll look at some. Sam's right from home with less on. <laughs> yeah, I got a phone call. It smells of like cheese. Next up. Four. Got three minutes till I've got to go and pick my child up from school. Are you sure it was that one? <laughs> Is that all it was? A four? Look that. Wow. It's not hotter than hot. Perhaps you've numbed your taste buds. <laughs> yeah. So, next up is, let me have a look. Um, what's my third favourite anarchy song? Can we have a look? <laughs> the Chain. The Chain? Oh. Vampire. It is the chain. It's yes. Vampire 2. It is the chain. This one was for. <laughs> tingly Ted's. Tingly Ted's. This is only a three. Tingly Ted's extra tingly sauce. This one. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's that one. Yeah. How's the mouth? You alright? We're it's not killing not it's fine. You sure? Yeah. We're very irresponsible bosses. <laughs> How's it? One out of ten. Chili jam. I mean, we bought we every. We started with like the hottest one. Yeah, well, we Abby did that. We bought every hot sauce in the supermarket, didn't we? But um, everyone available. Right. Next up. Next up is. That's tingly. How many people 
have presented the Friday show. Now, come on, we need to speed this up. 8.6. Why did you put 6 on there? What have you written on there? Presented. Oh, it's question 8. Presented. presented. I mean, just so basically, I told Abby and Abby wanted us to cheat. That's You wanted so us to cheat. I gave Abby all the answers, but I gave them wrong. But I did slip in a couple of correct ones so that she would try and outfox me and it would throw her. Because I'm not so having cheating on my watch. This doesn't include guests. Um, no, actual people that are presented. Yeah, but like... I, I'm not giving you anything more than that. Presented. Because like there was one, there was somewhere there was guests in and Six. doing it. And no, like if if Six. if Tara came in and was a guest, that's not presenting. Six. Yeah. But presented. Six. Abby's going for six. Sam, what are you going for? Three. No, the three of really? us: Paul, Nikki, Jesse. The answer is eight. Paul's never so presented one. <laughs> you're both eating. Nikki's never and then we're gonna, we're gonna whoa, 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 whoa. hold on hold on calm down calm down we're going to play a little game at the end with who, who the presenters were <laughs> right both of you you're on the sauce shop original hot sauce oh, this one's wet there's a lot of cheese as well there's a lot of cheese <laughs> right last question how old was I the first time I played a <clears throat> ukulele. Uh, who wants to go that first? That's got a bit of a kick, isn't it? Oh yeah, what's what's your mark? Throat. Yeah, that one looks hot. It's it doesn't taste hot on my tongue, but it's hot at the back of my throat. What's, yeah. your, what's your mark? Five, six. Okay. So I'll play with the hottest one. I don't know if it's quite as hot as the hottest one. But it's yeah. Right, anyway. Just in the back. How old throat. was I first time I played a ukulele? Well, you've told me 44, but I think that's a lie. I think you played it as a child. I think you played your That's granddad's. Eight. No. Three. No, I know the answer to this. One. Okay, 44. 44 is the correct answer. <laughs> you had one as a child. You've told me a whole story about it. That wasn't a ukulele. That was a toy. A toy ukulele? That was a toy. I had one in the studio and never actually played it because they were so bad and out of tune I couldn't use them. And I ended up using a sample instead. So I was 44. So you tried to play it? Yeah, but I didn't play it. At 44. Right, anyway, you're on You're on the last one. Well, it's only Frank. It's only Frank. <laughs> right, so what we got left? Freddie didn't come We've out looking like a bunch One, two, three, four, five left. So I'm going to go for... One question left and the wrong answer either. We or. didn't try these ones, so we'll go for these ones. That's that one. Okay, you've got one chance to name the eight presenters of the Friday show. Who wants to go first? I'll Me. Let... Yeah, she got you first. <laughs> right, name them. Abby. Yeah. Kevin. Yeah. Sam. Yeah. Paul. Yeah. Nicola. Yeah. Jesse. Yeah. Mandy and Roger present, did they? First place wasn't a good place to go because he's going to nick anything that you get yeah, right. I know what the last person is. Freddie and Ralph. No. Uh uh. Eat up. The last person's Fern. Right, you go through yours. All of those. Do it fair. again, do it again. <laughs> that's nine. Yeah, that's, that's nine. Not. Yeah, do it again. Three of us. Right, yeah. Fern. Yeah. Nikki. Yeah. Paul. Yeah. Jesse. Yeah. You've already I had Fern. I mean, that was... That's You're missing one. Seven. Missing one. Yeah. Comment if you know. Hmm. Do you really have to go soon? <laughs> give me, you your, give me, me your five seconds. No, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Olivia. <laughs> it was Shamai. Oh, I did a I did a show with me and um, me and Shamai. Me, me and Rach presenting. Oh. Eat up, buttercups. Did you see that Taylor Swift on a Cardiff gig? Said Shamai at the beginning of the game. Oh, I didn't. We should have. <laughs> we should have had that. Um. Should have shout out to Rach. Sorry, right. Taste like sweet chili sauce. Yeah, loads of sugar. That's probably. Good. Okay, really, 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 very quickly. Have we got the answers to the what on earth are you up to? Do we actually know what they are? <laughs> yes. Right. 
How was the last one? Really tasty. Really nice. Not spicy, oh. but delicious. <laughs> well, well done. You both did well. You both sweating even more than you were at the start of that. But uh, well done. Do you want a drink? There's some water in there. I'm just considering eating these ones. <laughs> <laughs> what did we have? Did I have all of these? Was this tingly chairs? Um, yes. Right, I have to go in like a minute. So. Right. Oh, that's like limey or something. Like, stop eating them. <laughs> <laughs> and stop flashing the camera. Yeah. Mm. You Ginger. Have to from, right, from the back here. Ginger. Right. Okay, first off, we have Bongo Boy. Give us the actual. Barry Maz escaping Alcatraz in a Honda Jazz. Oh, I didn't realise Alcatraz was in the background. Gotta say, guys, I've been to Alcatraz. It doesn't look anything like that. That is Alcatraz. It looks more like Southwold. Send <laughs> <laughs> head up to this one. <coughs> Got a lighthouse. Right, next, next. one. James Hill. So on on he's yeah. um, Jiggy with Viggy Biggie. riding a piggy. Yeah. Or flying on a piggy, riding a piggy, riding a piggy. Kevin Duncan, the country bumpkin, <laughs> sitting on a pumpkin. Doesn't rhyme. <laughs> next up, next up. Bongo Boy. Opera Laley, looking, looking scaly, scaly uh, dancing a Kaylee. Dancing a Kaylee. Nice, nice. Go on then. Right, go on then, because <laughs> I, I think this is longer. Pete Moss. Playing lacrosse like a boss with Luther Vandross. While well, looking cross. If looking cross was definitely in there. <laughs> was it? Yeah, well, I will research this and put it up on the screen. Because he's looking cross. Oh. Peter Moss, looking cross, playing lacrosse like a boss. We with... rhymed cross with cross. Didn't you think? Yeah. Yeah. It's poor. Yeah. Yeah, we did, yeah. Plastic Jesus, flying to Venus. Flying round Venus. Orbiting Venus. Orbiting Venus. Again, I'll put it up on screen because it, it appears <laughs> we didn't do our research. <laughs> Uh, it's the lava birds hanging with nerds eating lemon curds. Yes. <laughs> Last one. <gasps> it's the warehouse of thieves carrying <laughs> Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Reeves. And all three of his legs. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as, if you got any of those right, you oh, might be the chance one. to win. <laughs> the Flight Centurion. We'll even throw in there a three meal out with Abby, eating cheese and hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> We've got plenty left. What was that one? That was nice. I don't know. Um, so, if you got some questions right, you might be in with What's a chance. This? Just the Franks. Bongo Boy's been on the chat. Hopefully, he might even put on the chat who the winner is right now. We'll see. Um, <laughs> that's the end. The end of the series. End of the show. I was going to do a montage of all of our best bits and then I realised that there wasn't any <laughs> so this ain't nothing but a summer jam brown skin and cinnamon tans whoa <laughs> are you okay if I was going to do a montage of the best bits it would be Abby making that noise that she just made because that's about that's about the only good bits of the show thank you everybody that's been on thank all of our so guests much. Pete Moss Mark Gallagher um, and the ukulele MJ we still have her full interview to put out we've had some technical problems but that is going to go out in the Jiggy next couple Viggy. of weeks um, did we have Jiggy with Viggy? yeah we? we did we did we had, yeah we have Viggy on um, Pete Moss did I say that yeah George and Mandy we had on Four String Boy, has he been on? No, yeah, he's, he's, he's been around. He's hung around like a bad smell. Rachel, Tara. Um, again, hung around like bad Nikki. smells. <laughs> Nikki, thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Paolo. Thank you, Jesse. With Chord of the Week. Um, don't know what I'm going to do without Chord of the Week. <sighs> he can now play 16 chords. <laughs> 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 anyway, um, thank you so much. We are going to be back. We're going to have some videos coming out across the summer. Got loads of um, fun things coming up. We've, we've got, got some, some gigs, really some good, festivals. good videos coming out. Yeah. So yeah, please do uh, hang around the channel, watch what we're doing, and we will see you later on in the year, maybe with more Friday show. We love you. Bye. Like, subscribe, ring like, the bell. subscribe, ring the bell, and playing us out is Mr. Peter Moss. Looking cross, playing lacrosse with Luther Vandross. I don't think that was right. <laughs>